Hey Music Maker, hope you're having a great day out there today. And on today's quick production tip, I'm going to do something I've never done before. And while there's actually a lot of things I've never done before, but I'm going to do something today for the first time, and that is reviewing the new microphone I just got from Lawton Audio, the LA320. So I've actually been super excited to open it, but I wanted to wait to share this with you guys. So here is the box that the mic comes in. Now, I'm super excited about this particular mic, and I did a ton of research. As you know, there are a million different choices out there, and I have primarily been using this mic, the Shure SM7B, for a number of years as my main microphone for everything. So with that, I want to get something different and also have different tonal characteristics so this mic is actually a large diaphragm tube condenser mic so let's open the box and see what's inside and then we're actually going to do some sound samples so you guys can hear what this mic can do so first thing is this mic comes in a super cool and very heavy duty travel case which is awesome it makes it feel substantial and I like it so within the case we of course have our user information which we will check out later we've got the power supply because this is like i said a tube condenser so it requires its own power so it won't need 48 volt phantom power like the shear i'm used to so that's pretty cool and it just has a couple of simple controls where we plug in then the on off switch next we have the xlr cable that actually hooks the mic into the power supply of course you need that so awesome that they put this in the box the next thing is the shock mount very cool to go on i think they call this a spider mount which sounds very mysterious and awesome and then last but certainly not least the microphone itself all taken care of in plastic awesome so this is the mic itself looks really classic and vintage to me which is exactly the tone and feel that i personally am going for with this tube condenser on the microphone itself it has two buttons one is a low pass filter and also a high pass filter now the low pass filter is actually pretty unique to this microphone where basically it'll dial back some of those super high end frequencies according to the manual it starts out at about 12k and then the low pass starts at about 120. So there's some really cool built on features. And as we go through these sound samples, we're going to kind of test how those work in both scenarios. But that's everything that comes in the box. Now I'm going to hook this thing up and we're going to start talking through it and playing a little bit and kind of see how it does. So you guys can hear some sound samples to see if this is a good microphone for you and your studio as well. Okay, so now that we're here in Logic and I've got the mic all set up, one thing I did forget to mention is that the microphone does come with the power cable for the power supply. Got too excited that I overlooked that so we have the power supply we have the power supply cable along with the xlr cable the shock mount the mic itself and then the documentation so it's all there in a really cool case so i thought the best way to showcase what this mic can do is i'm going to record acoustic guitar using the high pass record it with the low pass on and then also record it open with neither on that way you can kind of get a better idea of what the mic is capable of and i'll do the same thing with some vocals as well really excited to see if the la320 is a good mic for you so when I fight, I fight on my knees With my hands lifted high Oh God, the battle belongs to you Every fear I lay at your feet I sink through the night Oh God, the battle belongs to you Okay, so now I've gone in and recorded three acoustic takes and three vocal takes and each one utilizing either the full wide open microphone, the high or low pass on the acoustics and the vocals respectively. So hope you're following along. I know it's a lot, but it should make sense. I'll try to talk through it. So first thing we have here, we're gonna just play through the acoustic guitar full range and I will kind of cycle through as we play through. Low pass. Then on the high pass here. Just cycle through one more time.
Okay, so those are the three acoustic guitars in the different spectrums. I know for me personally, depending on the vibe, each one of those has a great spot. I am initially drawn to the open full signal and then you do maybe some EQing on the back end. I love that bright kind of sparkle warmth that you're getting there, but also you're getting that from the high pass as well. So all of them sound really good to me and this is completely dry. As you can see, there's no effects of any kind on anything. And that scares me a bit because I'm about to play some vocals I just sang and there's no effects of any kind too. So bear with me there. So with that, I will just keep this full range guitar as our main guitar and then I'll play through the different vocal parts in a similar way that I just did. So we'll start here with the full range and then we'll go from there. When all I see is the battle You see my victory Here's high pass. When all I see is a mountain you see a mountain mode. Low pass. As I walk through the shadows, your love surrounds me. Then full. There is nothing to fear now, for I am safe with you. Okay, so now I'll play through the chorus just so it's a little bit more exciting on the vocal, a little bit more range. So here we go with the full. So when I fight, I fight on my knees with my hands lifted high. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. Then we'll do with high pass. So when I fight, I fight on my knees with my hands lifted high. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. Okay, and then we'll do it again with low pass. So when I fight, I fight on my knees with my hands lifted high. Oh God, the battle belongs to you. So as you can see, depending on which microphone setting it is, it can be quite a wide range of results. Now, if you're not listening with headphones, it may sound similar. There are some definitely some sonic differences between the three different microphone settings and really useful. And if you think about it, it's kind of like having multiple microphones in one. And really it's, it's EQ curves, so it's going to save you on the back end. And of course you can always manipulate these things. I mean, obviously once you select your setting, you can treat it accordingly after the recording. But going in, I know for me personally, it sounded great when I did the low cut and I took out some of those low frequencies of my personal voice, but it might be different for your voice. And same thing with guitar, taking out some of the low end of the guitar really helped kind of bring that shine to the front right away. But you might be more of a purist and you might like to just record everything wide open and then do EQ after the fact. But I think no matter what setting it's on, it's a really warm sound. It's a really full sound. And I am super happy with this mic and I can't wait to use it on probably most every single project from here. I still love the SM7 so much and I'll use it on things like acoustic and vocals just depending on the vibe of the song. Each microphone definitely has its own characteristics but I'm really excited to have a dynamic mic and then also a large diaphragm tube condenser in the arsenal to keep great sounding music and having a couple different microphone choices to do it with. Okay so there you have it the Lawton Audio LA320. What did you think about it? Is it a mic that could work for you in your studio or a tube condenser in general? I personally love it. My initial feedback and my initial thoughts are yes, so excited, made this choice. Got it from Sweetwater, my absolute favorite store of all time. And not just a music store, I seriously mean that. I mean, they send candy in the box. What more could you want? Darius Beats is my personal sales rep. He's the best. I've been working with him for five or six years at this point. So if you have any kind of need musically, I would definitely find Darius Beats at Sweetwater and get something because he is a studio guy and he knows his stuff. So he's awesome. So again, here's the mic, Lawton Audio LA320. Love it. Excited to use it. Let me know in a comment below, what mic do you use? What's your go-to mic in your studio? Are you thinking about upgrading? Have you got a huge mic locker? Let me know your favorite mic below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon. Now go make some music and I'll see you on the next video.